friends. I didn't see you guys there. <laughs> so guess what? Today we are learning of Daniel and how big and strong and brave he was. <laughs> I really wish I could be as brave as he is. Well, let's see what Daniel can teach us. What do you do when things get tough? What do you grab onto when things are not as it should be or uncomfortable? How do you cope when things get crazy around you and people start doing weird things? It happened to me. Something that just started out of jealousy got so out of hand. It was terrible. Guys who worked with me wanted to get me out of the way. They were looking for a reason to get me into trouble. But I tried to do the right thing and they got nothing. They tried to get a plan and then persuaded the king, who actually really liked me by the way, that everyone should only worship him for 30 days. What? I thought to myself. Of course I couldn't worship a person instead of the only real God. I decided there and then that in spite of the chaos and danger, stress and uncertainty of what could happen, that I will continue as always and I will live close to God. I will pray and stick to my habits that make me feel God in my life. I will do what I have to, as always, to follow God. I will keep on searching for God in my life because I know He makes sure that I find Him. And you won't believe it. I spent the night with lions relaxing around me. I mean, they didn't even taste me. I can't say the same about the guys who got me into trouble though. But God is amazing and faithful. He saved my life. So maybe the plan is to be constant with your habits when things become tough, scary and uncertain in life. Pray and spend time with God. Rest with God. Get your tranquility and advice from God. Search for Him daily in and around you. I think that might be the best way to survive in these strange, tough times. Anyway, read my story in Daniel 6 if you want more details. Daniel 6. When Daniel learned that the decree had been signed and posted, he continued to pray just as he had always done. His house had windows in the upstairs that opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day he knelt there in prayer, thanking and praising his God. Imagine you hear the news from the king and that you can die if you don't listen to it. The stress, the anxiety and worry and fear. Well, that's how I would have felt. Do you also feel like that in these last couple of months? You don't know if you're coming or going, what is going to change and if everyone is going to be okay. It's normal to sometimes feel, oh, things are tough. Daniel stuck to what is important in these times. His relationship with God he continued, as before, with what is important. The habit of talking to God daily and spending time with, with God wasn't something that he wanted to stop doing. He kept on searching for God. Friend, of course this story of Daniel shows us how he trusted God, but it also shows us something about having certain faith habits and how they can help us through tough times. Daniel went, as always, into his room and prayed. He didn't stop when things got difficult. He received hope and faith from God. Let me explain what I mean by a faith habit. So, it's something you do regularly. It's something that helps you to know God is with you in everything. It's also something that helps you to get to know who He is. And it helps you to learn how your and God relationship works. Examples, mm, that's a good idea. It can be to start each day with a short prayer, like, good morning, Jesus. I will tackle today with you. Help me to know that you're with me. It can be to read Bible after dinner or to think back through your day to where you felt close to God. It can be to draw or write in a journal, in a little book, and just draw about God or how you felt Him in your life or how He worked in your life. 
ask your mom or dad how it works if you're not sure how journaling can be helpful. It can be to listen to a worship song before bedtime or to spend time in nature once a week and to be quiet with Jesus. A faith habit can be to talk to someone about your relationship with Jesus and about things that you're wondering about. When things get busy or difficult, hold on to these faith habits that will help you to feel God close to you. Remember, He never leaves you. He meets you always. We just have to make time to feel Him in our lives. Okay guys, let's make a bookmark. You can be very creative in how you decorate it or exactly what you put on it, but I think it would be wonderful if on the front you can write, Daniel, pray to God every day. I want to talk to Jesus too. And on the back of the bookmark, you can draw a picture of Daniel and of you. And maybe you can even make the picture of you holding God's hands. You can put this bookmark in your Bible to help you remember that God is always with you and that he invites you to stick with your faith habits so that you can feel close to him and know that he never leaves you. We will sing, sing, sing and make music with the heavens. We will sing, sing, sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise. Lift high the name of Jesus. We will sing, sing, sing. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for teaching us how to be clever and strong like Daniel so that when we sometimes forget and when things get difficult, that we know like Daniel, we can always count on you. Thank you for teaching us your ways. Thank you for always guiding us like you guided Daniel. And thank you that we can know that you will never leave us and that you will always be there for us. Thank you for staying in our hearts and thank you for all your love. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, guys. <laughs>